Welcome to Saturday Story Circle, always on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. Save all the stuff you really need And stuff you bought for fun Stuff you've always really wanted This holiday at Amazon Stuff that is discounted if you're naughty or you're nice Stuff to buy your grandma Who drinks her Chardonnay with ice Stuff to make you big and strong Stuff we can name in this song Stuff for lawns and decking halls Say big on the stuff at This is The Crimson Garnet, written by Nathan Caldwell, produced by David Robbins, Episode 6, A Time for Reunion. This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to characters leaving or otherwise is purely coincidental. The street boss is fuming from his recent defeat. The wretched Crimson Garnet not only stopped the Drone Master from killing his nemesis, the Attacker, but then had the gall to rescue Drone Master from the punishment Street Boss had for him. Blast that Crimson Garnet. He follows me everywhere I go. Led, one of Street Boss's top creeps, spoke in response. Oh no, he's just just like a rat. Yes, but rats are eventually trapped. I will defeat Garnet. And then, Seattle, the world will be mine. Meanwhile, at an undisclosed location... Man, it's private out here. I can wear my suit out in the open. Yes. Some privacy is good. Hey, slow up, mates. (laughs) My son, the great attacker, can't keep up. Hey, Dad. Even a cheetah can't run for very long. It was a good idea to have these endurance runs. Yes, but I think it's getting late. And some of us are getting tired. Mostly one of us, please, son. Yeah. Right. Andrew smirked and led them to the private jet that also doubled as the attacker jet when needed. For now, it was just his normal personal aircraft. Let's get home, mates. Meanwhile, a commercial Australian airliner flies above Sydney. Uh, attention, this is your captain speaking. If you look out your windows, you will see the beautiful white clouds that, in my opinion, make flying so special. Two women were talking. I see you left in your uniform, huh? (laughs) Sometimes it's all you can do. Yeah. Attention, please. This is your captain again. We are nearing the landing port at Sydney, and... I think we may have a little problem. Mayday! We've been hit by lightning. We have electricity seeping through into the empty center passage room. We can still move, but three out of our four engines are out. That's right outside, mates. Sounds like your job. Right, Grandpa. It's time for Garnet to slip into action. Be careful, mate. This is the air. I have some gear in the back that will help. Use the oxygen mask and the harnesses to strap yourself to the jet. If you're going to do what I think you are, you'll need it. (sighs) Here goes nothing. Uh, 
Uncle Andrew, what was it you said you thought I was going to do? I'm clueless out here, not to mention immobile. Stay calm. The harness will keep you safe, mate. I can't move. Can you just aim your fist toward the other plane? Yeah, doing that now. Well, get rid of that electricity. Oh, darn it! Attention, folks. Uh, I don't know what just happened, but the storm seems to be over. Truce! Later, back at the Sydney airport, Crimson Garnet stepped around a corner and looked to the plane that had just landed, the one he had just saved. Deborah? Debbie Bronze? That's right, Garnet. I'm here to visit relatives. Well, small world. <laughs> small world indeed. Later, at the Andrew Bronze estate. Coming, mate. Good day, officer. I'll be right with you as soon as I grab my sword. There seems to be some misunderstanding. I'm looking for Dwayne Bronze. Now, see here. Dwayne is a good boy. Now get out of here before I... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what did you need with him, mate? I don't know what came over me. Come in, please. He hasn't done anything wrong, surely. I know him better. <laughs> no, I'm an American officer. Well, I really should have been able to notice that. I'm out of practice way too soon, mate. An American officer, you say? Am American? Debbie Bronze? Angel? <gasps> Uncle Andrew? Goodness, you were only three when I saw you last. Even so, I still remember you. Do you know? Where are my manners? Sit, sit. Thank you. Where is everyone? Dunno, really. Never was easy to keep up with them. But I'm sure they're all right. And indeed, the Garnet was all right. He was fighting one of his arch enemies, Lead. Give it up, Lead. You're going nowhere. Maybe not, but neither is the hostage we have. Dwayne, be careful. You're on your own for a while. My prayers are with you. Don't move if you're half as smart as you look. Who are you? They call me the Marksman. The Marksman, huh? Well, I suppose you'll make your mark. In the Australian prison? <laughs> well, we will see, Mr. Browns. How did you know who I am? We know a lot of things. How much we won't get into. Yet. It's good to see you again, Matthew. I'm afraid I can't say the same. Really now, Matthew? After being through so much together? You mean after living through your attempt to blow up the entire city of Seattle? Now, now. It wouldn't have been the end of the world. Not for everyone. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Andrew Bronze estate, Crimson Garnet flies into the room with Andrew and Deborah, breathing very hard. Dwayne? 
<sighs> I love you, sis. But there's no time to chat. Grandpa's in trouble. Then we'll have to do something about that, eh? Whether they're ready or not. Back at the Street Boss's hideout, Street Boss has appeared again in front of Matthew Bronze. You'd better say your prayers, Mr. Bronze. <laughs> I have. And soon you'll be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. First, you let the hostages go. Then, you'll be going to jail. After your extradition into the States. Are you sure? Got it. Up there. There's an observation booth. And look who's still there. Hands up. Good job. But you should have untied this man first. Bronze! Huh? He did. Oh, yes! Well, idiot! Oh, way to go, Grandpa. Dead? Oh, I didn't know you had it in you. Close call, guys. Too, Too close. close. Let's see who he is. As he reached to unmask the man who had given them so much trouble for far too long, only to have his hand continue to go right through the head of the villain. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh, you have just heard episode six of the Crimson Garnet. Cast are as follows: narrator Nathan Caldwell, Dwayne. David Robbins, Andrew, Carl Nordman, Matthew, Carl Nordman, Led, John Steinklauber, Street Boss, John Warren, Deborah, Paulina Logan, Woman on the Plane, Crystal Robbins, The Pilot, David Robbins. Music for this episode came from Kevin McLeod and was used with a Creative Commons 3.0 license. Find more of his work at Incompetech.com. Sound effects were from Freesound. Find more of their work at freesound.org. This has been a Protectorate production. Stay subscribed for more great shows, and thank you for listening. Pour a perfect Saturday morning with Simply Orange Juice made with natural ingredients, Minute Maid OJ with an excellent source of vitamin C, or Fairlife Ultra Filtered Milk with 50% more protein than regular milk. Make your good morning great and pick up Simply, Fairlife, and Minute Maid today. Good morning. We hope you're enjoying Saturday's Story Circle. Got enough cereal? How's the coloring going? You can always join us tomorrow on Mutual with the Sunday Showcase. Original audio drama from the United Artists of Audio, right here on Mutual. Subscribe to the full Mutual Audio Network feed for exciting audio drama every day. Or find the Sunday Showcase feed in your favorite podcast players. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.